play it's a game very beautiful game and you know thank you for this cold here 21 degrees 21 celsius no fahrenheit and outside is 24 this house this house is just uh, mystical outside is 24 and here is 21 i have cold feet i'm thinking to make a fire to warm the house up <laughs> but when outside is cold outside in the house is also cold we have not done yet um, isolation of the house so the walls the walls have like 25 centimeters like to do it next year isolation and of the walls around the house because there is the ceiling is down floor is floor because underneath as I told you before underneath is a garage there is a garage so it would be nice to do it again because we did the floor like from here but I would I would like to do it again from the bottom because the floor is cold from underneath but we still see um, when we save some money of course on it because we don't have the resources now this year not at all and I have a car I pay the loan for the car so I hope next year we could do the isolation of the house but not the underneath no, I don't think so this may be one day we'll see we need to save some money up for it it's not for free the values I don't understand what the hell yep so I'm bored I'm sitting and really cold city how's your weather there let me know in the comments please i'm curious maybe you would be not tell me alaska or hawaii or siberia or england canada china australia new zealand mexico south america been in South America. Beautiful. I mean, I've been in Paris. Yeah. I did some traveling in my past around the world. That's how I learned my English. No books, no school. One day I just left my hometown and just a Google Translator in my pocket. And uh, Nexus, the phone I had was a Nexus 5, the red one, Nexus 5. I think a uh, Nexus 4, it was a red back, it was like a back uh, plastic red Nexus, Google's phone in Android. Just Google Translator I had downloaded and uh, 
offline like the guy can use it in offline so i obviously i have some check republic so i download a check from the english language and you can see i get all kind of check engine and that's how i was like typing always showing phone on the web airport hotel on the streets wherever i went my first country was thailand i travel a lot at the north How I learn English. Amazing. Amazing how this thought process leads from I have cold feet and we have not done isolation on this house yet to I travel in Thailand. I had really like a tough, a little tough dramatical experience in work. It was something very. As you know that I'm a chair, like I work in a kitchen and uh, today I um, I was making like a cooked meat. We have a butchery man who is taking care of the meat and he is preparing like the pieces of the meat that we need for the next day and they are being kept in a special fridge, like a big fridge, you know, like a big one of those that we ever saw it where the restaurant had it too and it's like, it's like a room, four to five meters of fridge. You know? We have so many of these fridge, one for meat, one for dairy and vegetable, it's separated all this. And I was gonna make today, it was my job to make like that meat cooked and of course you gotta saute it, yeah, like uh, rest it first on oil. So imagine it was like around 23 kilo of meat, yeah, that's almost 200 portion. And I come, I came into the fridge, and there was a red boxes, yeah, that uh, one uh, one of the red boxes was pork meat, pork. just like pass it by eye and all I saw pig like a, like a pork and then I saw beef and I also opened it because it has a lid on the top and I opened it and I saw pork so I didn't take it I saw beef I just took the beef and then I went and I cooked it when it's when I when I saute the whole meat when I put water you know all the spices and close it and let it simmer and then I get to do also the 
because it was big PC for the media. It was big, this is big PC for us. It's not slices. And but the port was slices. And while it was already done, I I had to uh, I had to solve the 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 port currently. This was slices because you have to solve it, and then other 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 chef will come and he will make that. But we just solved it for early morning because this was early morning, and they come. The the the, the rest of the team will come always like hour two hour later. So I came for the other boxes. So the other red boxes, where was the pork? And I, I took them all. By the way, it's like it's more boxes. Yeah, it's like my beef has like three boxes, and that was like four, five. It's five, and they are on like a little stroller. Like it is, it, it, it's on wheels. So you just push it, and I bring it, and I put it on a table. I, I, I put on a table like a beef tray or when I can stop it I took a man box and I start doing doing it so one now listen yeah like one one red plastic box done I put it on the side and a big one yeah it was 250 portions and another done third making done and then when I put the third to to, to start with the fourth because you don't see underneath those boxes, you know. I I lift it and there was beef. Big beefy. And I'm like, what the hell? So guys, I found out that this was my beef. On the whole, the whole five boxes on wheels was for today. The other beef was for next day. So what I did? I, it was the same meat. The problem was that uh, I supposed to cook 23 kilo of meat and I cooked 35. The so true is that I, I thought like, wow, it's a little bit a lot, a little bit more, it's a lot of meat when I was doing it, yeah, but it's just, I didn't read properly the little small, you know, I worked there one year, I'm that new, kind of is uh, many things I know, many things I still learn that job yes so I just didn't see it because the box from me and anyway on the top of the lid you have always like a like a sticker and there is written but there was the problem is that the butchery guy the problem is that I don't know so this is uh, it's my fault but it's like the thing is that he put the port on top of the lid be here there was also date very small but really it's my fault I have to read it like all things yeah but the, the beef the beef the sticker was not on the top of the first boxes that that is underneath the ports it was on the side yeah on the side like this you just don't see yeah it's like you don't see this and so I cook like 12 30 12 30 12 kilo more understand we cook everything fresh everything that day one day is you cannot make it and have it for the next day yet so yeah luckily there is a great team of people so I was not hanged out like on a crisscross or something and want to share it because this was my day today and I I was not happy with myself <laughs> at that moment really <laughs> it was crazy a little bit yeah I was like why did I do this I was like I just open it and I saw it was like pork beef I took it and because it came on my mind that uh, the butchering man also make me Making meat needs that he's taking it part. He's cleaning it and he's pretending he's putting on a scale exactly how much meat it's, it's got, yeah? And put it in the fridge. 
but I didn't know that it will be three days in the fridge. That it is, I always thought, because they are there every day, that they make meat always for the next day. But no. Uh, still, if I would properly read it, I would know that it's not mine. <coughs> so, my mess and yeah. But as I said, luckily, great team, they saved it. Uh, we have luckily, like, we have a dinner, post dinner, which is like a kind of uh, the separate, we made like a beef soup. And biggest concern like I don't like waste like if in here in my house and like if it happened like a very rarely I don't know if it's ever happened apart of when you have so many apples on the table and you just don't eat them some days and you have some little more so you just take a little knife and you cut the cut cut the mold off and this is only what we kind of throw away like we don't really waste food and like throw away all the stuff like what we don't do, we don't just leave shopping and then it's rotten and half of it in the fridge, you know. Um, no, we don't do that. So, this was, I was there, that it's like, we would have to um, throw it away. But it didn't happen, it was great actually, and everything was amazing. So, but the first few hours I thought, uh, well like very badly like not in the fridge here but very badly and I tell ya I tell ya this time I'm gonna read every little etiquette I'm gonna read it like yep this was my drama days in the work once a while Actually, any chef or somebody who work in the kitchen here? Like, I actually work in many places, like not places just as a chef, but like different kinds of job I did as a cashier. Share some drama with me, please, because I know I'm not alone. <laughs> so because my feet are freezing here. I will make a fire. The good thing is about 24 Celsius outside and 20, 20, 20, no, not 20, 20 here, is that you need like three, four of wood pieces, like of this, like, you know, three, four, five, four, the house is completely warm and for half a day because outside it is cold so not so much waste have a nice rest of the day bye Jules bye see you next time <laughs>